Hello and welcome back to the Islander Chamber Music Channel. My name is Ian and I am the horn player for the Islander Winds. Today we will be talking about the different kinds of mutes for horns. The first mute that we're going to talk about today is the hand stopping mute. This is, they're mostly made out of metal and as you can see it is kind of a pear shape. This mute has the same effect on the instrument as if you completely closed it off with your hand. But this makes it a little easier for beginners to get a stop horn sound. Now, whenever you have the mute on the inside of the instrument, it is important not to impact it super hard, or else it will affect your intonation as well as your tone on the instrument. And you could harm the mute or your horn. So only push it in as far as it's willing to go and give it a slight little twist. A plus sign over the note indicates to start using the stop horn, as indicated in yellow. And an O means to return to regular, unstopped horn, as annotated in the blue. In other words, plus means stopped, and O means open. It is important to note when the stop mute is in the horn, it will sound a half step higher than it would normally. So if I were to play G natural, and then add the mute, it sounds as G sharp. So the way we combat that is to finger it down a half step. So if I wanted to hear a G, I would play G flat. You can play whole scales by thinking of the fingerings in the scale that's a half step down from it. So if I were to play a C major scale, and add a mute, I could achieve the same scale by playing a B major scale with the fingerings. The next kind of mute we're going to talk about is the straight mute. This mute is used to quiet the instrument and give it a little bit of a softer, more mellow sound. Uh, there's many different kinds of mutes, but these are the basic ones that you're going to see. These are called orchestral straight mutes, and these are just regular old cut mutes. The difference between the two is this one doesn't have a tuning mechanism on the inside. So with this one, you would have to worry more about changing the intonation with your lips, or pushing and pulling slides before you even put the mute in. With this mute, there's a little tuning mechanism on the inside I can feel with my index finger and push and pull in and out without having to do anything to the instrument. Music is traditionally written in Italian, but it is not unusual to see it written in other languages. Highlighted in yellow is German, mit Dampfer, with mute. Traditionally in Italian, Composers will write consord or consordino with mute, implicating that you should put a straight mute in. If the composer wants you to remove the mute, they will say senza sordino or without mute. I would like to play an orchestral excerpt for you using the straight mute. This is Dvorak, Ninth Symphony, Second Movement. The final mute we will talk about is the practice mute. Practice mutes are never used in concerts, thus their name. They simply make your sound much, much quieter to avoid disturbing others when you have to practice. Thank you all so much for tuning into the video, and I hope you learned a little something about French horn mutes. Thank you, and see you next time.